Okay, welcome back to uh, VMworld 2013. This is special coverage of theCUBE here live in San Francisco at AT&T Park, home of the San Francisco Giants. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, and we go out where the signal is, not the noise, and we go where the action is, and the action right now is on the field at AT&T Park. I'm joined with my co-host Dave Vellante. We have Brian Mitchell from Avnet, advocate, customer advocate, NetApp, partner. Brian, great to see you again. Hey, what do you definitely. think? What do you think about this? Place? Oh, love it, man! <laughs> right on. Excellent. You know, you know, you guys are the ESPN of tech, and what a better place. Yeah, Dave, home run shot right there. Really? You're Thank a tech you athlete. That. Welcome, welcome that. to Appreciate the Cube it, special presentation. Yeah. So, what's going on with you guys here? And tell us about you know what's going on at the event and we're having it here on the field. Sure. So, uh, you know, we're doing a lot of things, gang. Uh, we're doing a lot of things with FlexPod. You know, number one FlexPod distributor. We pre-built. Flex pods, day in, day out. You know, we do a lot of work with NetApp as well. So, you know, we're talking about distributor with NetApp. We're talking about one-stop shop for all things NetApp and ecosystem partners like VMware. You know, this is all about team sport, baseball, you know. Good team sport, NetApp's a very loyal partner. That's been good to the channel, we talked to them last year. But at the end of the day, loyalty can go fast if there's no margin, right? So sure. what's the margin opportunity, because the services opportunity is massive, right? I mean, so you got a margin on product, right. and then the wrapping of gross profit on top of that. Right. Is that, what's that. How's that playing out, and what are the customers doing for, you doing with customers around that, that the additional services? Sure, so, you know, I'm mostly a bits and bytes, technical guy, you know. You know, I, I, I can definitely talk about that. But, we don't want to talk about know, numbers, but like just the, the kinds of services, yeah. all the technical things that you sure, guys are offering. Sure, sure. So, you know, it starts with integration, right? You know, the big thing with integration is we pre-built the flex pods with Cisco and NetApp. We also talk a lot with folks that say, hey, how do we help integrate this? How do we help with consulting, right? So, I get a lot of questions oftentimes, hey, Brian, I need help with, uh, you know, how do you size this config, this NetApp? Great, love to help. At the same time, you know, that helps us with, with revenue, with margins. Oh, a lot of opportunities. So Brian, Avnet delivers FlexPod, if I understand, if I infer correctly, as a single SKU, is that right? That's correct. Okay, so you do that for, so the thing about FlexPod, people love FlexPod because it's flexible, right? Sure. You can do whatever you want with it, different hypervisors, so you have a lot of permutations that you have to, to test, to validate, and you of course work with NetApp to do that, but talk about that, that single skew strategy. Is that not, a lot of people don't know about that. You know, it's pretty neat, Dave. A lot of times we often find that folks will say, hey, you know, I'm going to build it myself. Guess what happens? It goes south. You know, the build fails, customer's not happy. What we do is we say, hey, let us take the screwdriver level integration. Let's actually build it ourselves. Then we actually literally will test it, cable it. Literally, the FlexPod here at VMworld is built by us. We've got a demo pool of FlexPods, ship them around the world. So literally, when we talk about that, we're talking about taking that, you know, low level screwdriver integration and allowing the partner to leverage, you know, our services so that they can go out and deliver higher dollar consulting services. So where are the opportunities now? I mean, yeah. you've got so many permutations uh, that, are, that are possible, so what are your sweet spots? So, you know, sweet spots are definitely in three key areas. I see, number one, the data center, right? Pretty traditional stuff, right? You've got your Exchange, your SQL. It's all about apps, Oracle. Then, you know, second spot, SMB, mid-size enterprise. You're going to talk a lot about FlexPod Express with the uh, C series, with the FAST 2200s. Then you've got the third one, which is pretty interesting. I like to call it FlexPod Big Data, Big Data Pod. <laughs> and it's the FlexPod Select for Hadoop. What's going on with Flash from your perspective? Obviously, you're in the trenches, a lot of buzz. We've been talking about a little Flash, bubble, but there's significant benefits for having Flash under the hood yeah. in storage. What are you seeing? What are customers asking you? What's some of the some of the use cases that you're hearing from your customers? Yeah, you know, a lot of use cases are around, hey, I just want to be able to S accelerate this Oracle or the SQL Server application. I want to be able to, um, you know, deliver this this tier of storage faster. Oftentimes, we get into a conversation about, hey, you know, how do I set up a tiering strategy? You know, we find that a lot of folks are saying, you know, go all flash. Well, that's great, but guess what? What about spinning disk? What about those? Uh, latency tolerant applications, right? Home directories, data warehouses. 
So we actually will say, hey, what about hybrid storage? Both spinning disk and flash storage makes sense. So What's going on in the application? Because in the old days, IT would provision some uh, core IT and then kind of wait for the phone calls, help desk. I'm oversimplifying that. Yeah, how yeah. dumb it is. But, but now apps are everywhere. Now apps coming from business units. You got core IT and you have demands from the business units. That can whip up some apps. They might go to Amazon. They want to do it in-house. Sure. What's that look like inside a normal enterprise? You know, normal enterprise, it's hair on fire, right? You know, they don't know what to do. They're, they're sitting there thinking, wow, I've got to be able to deliver this app. I don't know how to get there. Number one, they are having pressures. A lot of the business units, they're going outside of IT. What we're saying is, hey, install NetApp. With the help of such Amazon Web Services, we're talking about being able to leverage the cloud for a lot of those archive apps, a lot of those uh, you know, pieces of data that, hey, well, you know, they're, 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 they're the type of data Seriously, is, okay. is just... Okay, oh, we got to cut you off. We're going to go <laughs> national anthem right now. Oh. We're live in San Francisco. We're still here live. We're going to stay with them until we get the boot and the hook. But they're going to go do special present. Ronnie Lott's here. they got a lot of... Uh, Brian Sabe. Aiden Joe Sagan's Morgan's here. coming on. Right? Um, Pat Gelson will be here. Tom George. We're live on San Francisco 40... Fort, uh, Giants Field. We're going to pause for the national anthem with tech athlete Brian Mitchell. Okay, national anthem here. This is the cube. We're about kickoff That's time. A cube first, it's though. almost first inning. What yeah. analogy? <laughs> that is a cube first, right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap this up. We're getting the hook here. Brian Mitchell, tech athlete, advocate of NetApp with NetApp. I mean, with AvNet. Thanks for coming on the cube. Special presentation. We're gonna cut to the presentation. In about ten minutes. We'll be right back. Stay here. We'll be right back in ten minutes. Special presentation, and we'll go back live here on the outfield. San, at San Francisco Giants, AT&T Park. We'll be right back. I'm John Ferrer with Dave Vellante. This is a special CUBE presentation live at AT&T Park. <laughs>